Hey everybody, welcome to another video in our series on how to solve magic cubes. In this video, we're looking at one of the more difficult ones, the 6x6x6 six 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 magic cube. Um, and if this is your first time, I highly recommend you know how to do the 3x3, three 4x4, three, four four, and 5x5 five five cube in order to solve this thing. So you can check out my channel for those videos. This tutorial might go a little bit faster than normal. This is a more advanced cube. So I expect you to know a bit more than a beginner. Just a quick note about the cube I'm using right now. Uh, just to compare it to some of the other ones I've used in the past. This 4x4, four four, this 3x3, three three, and this 5x5, five five, for example. This is a V-cube. This is made by the V-cube company. So this thing has a black face. The actual cube is white, and all the colors are the same. If you look closely, these are actually stickers, right? So a little bit of use there. So these are all sticker cubes. Okay, We have a Rubik's cube here by the actual Rubik's company. You can tell by the logo right there. It's a very old cube. It's, it must be maybe nearly, I don't know, 10 years or so. I've had this for a while. This is the oldest cube I've ever had. And uh, first ever cube. And of course, this one does have stickers. It's a bit worn down because of all of the use. It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> this is a more recent cube. This is made by the company Shengshu. It's a Chinese company. And they're pretty good at making smooth moving cubes. Okay. And the stickers are very good. There's a bit of grip on them. I don't know if you can see that or if you can tell on the camera. But this is a very, it's an excellent cube, very smooth. Things don't get stuck. And it's really, really good. I highly recommend this one as well. The view cube is okay. It's much better than the Rubik's brand cube for the 5x5, five five, as I mentioned in the other video, but it's still a bit tight. It's slow moving, okay? It doesn't slide as much. It's pretty good, but there are better. When looking at this 6x6 six six cube, one thing that makes it different than all the others, there are no stickers on this cube. So that's good and bad. Good because the stickers won't peel off and you don't have to buy new replacement stickers in order to get the colors right. Second, they move very, very well. My only issue with this cube is that it is kind of slippery. So it's different than a Shengshu cube in that the Shengshu has a bit of grip. So when you are moving around, it's pretty good. This one will slip and slide out of your hand. Um, they actually oiled the cube. It's good if you're trying to move very, very quickly, but also not so good if you want to slow it down. So this is the, the cube we're using for this video. Many other cubes out there. There's a V-Cube 6 you can find if you want. Uh, you can find um, pillowed versions of a cube instead of flat. They're kind of rounded like that one over there. You have many choices for the higher order cubes. Quick note about the 6x6 cube that we're solving today. Just like all of the other cubes, it builds upon what came before it. So you're going to see in this one a 3x3 three three cube, you're going to see a 4x4 four four cube, you're going to see a 5x5 five five cube, plus one extra layer. This has no centerpiece, which means the faces are not fixed. It's a lot like the 4x4 four four cube for many reasons. One is that uh, they're both even numbered cubes, which means there are rules that they will follow compared to odd number cubes like the 3x3 three three and 5x5. Five five. So with this one and this one, you will find that you'll be having more issues of parity. So that means they're going to be edge parities and corner parities, just like in the 4x4 four four cube. Different from the 5x5, five five, which only has the edge parity issue if you solve it the way we did in our last video. So just keep in mind you're going to have to solve edge parities and corner parities and all of the smaller sized cubes within the 6x6 six six cube. First, we're going to solve our center pieces, then we're going to solve our edges, and then we're going to solve it just like a 3x3 three three cube. We're going to leave out the notations of the sides and focus more on moving specific pieces to specific locations. This, I think it's just a bit easier to understand because the algorithms start to get more complicated with higher order cubes. And if you understand where you're moving your piece and why you're moving it, it's a bit easier to follow the steps. So we are using algorithms, but we're not using the, the notations of the regular, you know, official notations of uh, puzzle cubing. So now that we have everything out of the way, 
I think we can start to mix this cube up. Here we go. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty good and mixed. So let's get started. So now that our cube is nice and messed up, we're going to have to pick a side and start to solve that side. Um, we're starting with the centers, remember. So first centers, then edges. Let's choose a color. I'm going to pick orange because I like orange. So there is no fixed side or no fixed face uh, or centerpiece. So make sure that you keep that in mind and remember if you pick orange, if you pick blue, if you pick green, just make sure you remember the opposite side. So one centerpiece, then the opposite centerpiece, then flip it down and then just go around like so. One, two, and then one, two. Okay, just like before. So let's do orange. And like I said, um, you've seen this, you know, done before in other videos. So I'm just going to kind of move a little bit faster than normal. Uh, first, we're going to do one line, two line, three line, and then the last line. So we can actually do this easier by doing one, two, three, four and then a final long strip of orange. So I'm going to first try to get rid of as much orange as I can right now. And I'm going to start with this piece right here and find one here and one here. So I'm looking for a center-ish orange. I'm looking for an edge orange. And there were many of them over here. Look, here's an edge orange and here's a center-ish orange. Center-ish. I'm making up that word, by the way. So let's bring this orange down here and then bring it over here. So what I did was you have to picture where this piece is. This piece should be over here. So we're going to rotate it so that it's where it belongs. Okay. And then to get it from here to here, we're just bringing it down like so. Okay. Um, so there's no algorithm. There are no patterns about this. You basically just need to use basic common sense. So look around, finagle your way around and find these pieces and bring them over. So I have one piece here, but let's see, I also have one piece here. So I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to bring this one. I can't bring it here exactly. Actually, I could. I could put it here. So this can go here. I need it in this position. So I'm going to rotate once so that it's here and these two are here. And then all I have to do is line them up. So one twist brings them together like so. Okay. Let's keep going. We have two pieces here, one piece here. I think we can connect these. So let's try. I'm going to first separate them to, so that they're on different faces so I can work with them. So move one of them over here. And then I'm going to rotate this one up into this corner. Okay. Now we check if I turn it like this, this one can match with this one. So let's do that. Remember, we're not messing up with this yet. And we twist. Perfect. Now we just line it up with these guys. And there you go. Now let's keep moving. We have this corner piece. We need one, two, three. So we can leave this one alone for now. We'll come back to it later. We'll do one, two, and three. So let's look for center piece, center piece, edge piece. So we have one center piece here. We have one edge piece here, one edge piece here. We need one more piece that goes here. right under my thumb. Okay, so this one has to come back up. Maybe here. Let's see. Let's try to line this guy up with an edge piece. So we have an edge piece right there. Okay, so I want this one maybe here and here. Won't go there, but this one will. So if we move it like so, 
we now have these two pieces together. Now we're going to need one more middle piece. There's one right there. So this one has to go with these guys. It doesn't really. So let's rotate it again. So now it fits. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to find a way to get these ones over here. Best bet rotate around, just find your way. Um, it'll take a little bit of time. Let me see if there's any other better options. Okay, so we have this and this, and let's see what happens here. Okay, so I lined up one, two, three, and I have one, two, three. And... There you go. So we have one, two, three. Good. I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't need it yet. I need to solve one, two, three first, then one full strip. So let's get them out of the way and let's keep working. One, two, and three. Edge, edge, corner. So here is an edge, here is an edge, here is a corner, and here's another corner. So we're going to use this corner here, move it like this. We're going to first rotate this so that it's on the same line and we're going to bring him over here then we're going to do the same thing rotate it around okay doesn't fit see so we need another piece here is another piece let's use this one and rotate rotate and now we have one two three now we have to check to see if it actually fits in this location. Sometimes it won't, sometimes it will. Let's see if we get lucky. So we need to get this one over here. Doesn't fit, okay. Um, we can also try over here. One, two, great, that fits. Now we have to do one, two, three, and then four. We have four more pieces to go and we've got to line them up over here. So let's try that right now. One can line up with this one. Okay. Now we have one that can go over here. Great. Uh oh, doesn't fit. So first you have to make sure that it is lined up. So we need it in this corner. And then, great, and now one final piece over here. Okay, so if, we, if we're going to move this piece up here, we have to make sure we don't mess up any of this. So to do that, first we're going to bring this up, okay, and see how this is messed up. So we need to rotate it so that nothing is in the way when we bring it all back down. Okay, so just as we've learned in the 4x4 four four and the 5x5. Five five. Okay, so we have one more straight line here and then we're good. So that is your first center piece for your 6x6 six six cube. Now that you've solved your orange face, the opposite of orange is of course red. So our next face is going to be red over here. So orange here, red here. So we're going to do exactly what we did before. One, two, three, four, and then one more here. So let's keep going. Um, we have two here. And just remember, as we're doing this, we have red over here, orange. Best if you keep orange on the bottom so that you're holding it like this and it's behind you. Okay, so we have red here. Let's see what we could do. Um, I could take this one, if I find a center-ish piece, here is one, so rotate so that it's where it should be over here, and then rotate forward, great, so we have one, two, three, done. Now we have to send this one up. So we have a gap here, all we're going to do is the same algorithm that we've done 
throughout, you know, the four and five cubes. We're going to send this up, rotate it around so there's junk up here, and then bring the junk back down. So rotate up, spin around, and come back down. So don't worry too much that we sent these two down because they weren't actually solved. So we have one, two, three solved. That's great. And now we have a few more to continue working on. So we need an edge piece and we can do one, two, and three. So let's look for an edge piece over here. This one should, no, actually no. Uh, maybe this one, but is there anything else? Oh, what about these? Okay. So if I just rotate like that, I now have another set. Okay. So I'm going to bring this up here, line them up, okay, then I'm going to throw it up, rotate around, and bring back down. So rotate up, bring around, and then rotate back down, and now I have one and two solved. This is not solved, I'm going to get rid of this shortly. So let's keep going though, and we can do maybe this one, yep, here's one, so this can go over here. So we just want to rotate this side to meet it, and then rotate this side to meet that one. And now we have these all solved. So we're going to send this one up, rotate it down, and then bring back junk, rotate up. Uh-oh, doesn't fit, does it? So we're not going to do that. Okay. So we're going to make sure that all of these line up properly. If that happens to you, you have to rearrange these pieces up here. So let's try that again. We rotated it around, and now let's try it. Rotate up. Okay, lined up. Rotate, and bring back down. Great. So now we have one, two, three solved. Just need one, two, and three. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's use these ones because they're almost solved for us. Just like this one, but don't worry about that for now. We're going to use these two, because they're already down here. So let's look for another edge piece. Here's one. And this edge needs to be here, so it needs to go over here. One, two. Now it lines up with these, and we just need to bring this one to meet these. So we just rotate, rotate, and we're good. So now let's see if we can get this up here. Okay, so if we bring this one up, let's see what happens. Bring it up, rotate, and bring back down, and there you go. So we've solved one strip, two strip, three strip. Now we just need one more strip. So like I said, we're going to get rid of these two. We're going to bring them down because we don't want them up here. So let's bring them back down. So let's see. Let's bring them over here. So bring it down, rotate it out of the way, and then bring back the jump. Okay? Now we can work with them. And if I'm not mistaken, there are, yep, yeah, one and two just sitting there. So we just need to bring these two to meet these two. So if we just rotate and rotate, now you've got one last strip and we have one strip of junk here, and one, two, three, good. What we want is we want the red over here, and the junk on this side, and then we're going to, to do the same algorithm. Throw this up, rotate, and bring back down. Okay, so send it up, rotate, rotate, now the junk is there, and then bring it back down. And there you go. Red face solved, orange face solved. Now that you've solved orange and red, all you have to do is solve the other four center faces. Okay, And to do this, it's going to be exactly the same as we've done in prior cubes. We're going to solve this side and this side, and then move on to this side and this side. Don't do this side and this side. It's possible, but more difficult. So if you're trying to just do it in the easiest way possible, one, and then two, then three, then four. Go in a circle. Okay, so I'm just going to just go through this very quickly because it's exactly the same as what, when you're solving 
these two faces. We're going to solve this one and this one very quick, and then we're going to solve the remaining two. So if you remember, red is here, orange is here. So if you're holding it like this, orange and red, this one should be blue, this one should be yellow, this one should be green, and this one should be white. Okay, so I'm going to solve uh, blue and green, and then, sorry, blue and yellow, and then green and white. Okay, here we go. Okay, wow, that took a while, but here we are. So I solved yellow and blue in the same way that we solved orange and red. And now all we have left are two sides here. We have green and we have white. Okay, we have to solve these two. So now that we're left with only two center pieces left to solve, uh, we're going to solve them in the same way that we solved all the others. With 4x4, with 5x5, five five, um, we're going to use the down over, down back over, up over, up back over, algorithm. And like I mentioned to you, and I've been hammering this into you ever since I showed you this algorithm, this is very, very important to know um, in and out. And the more, uh, well, the better that you know this algorithm, the more efficiently you can solve these two sides. And we're not solving one and then the other. We're solving both at the same time. So the great thing about this algorithm is that it's going to flip two pieces at the same time instead of working on just one face and then one face. So um, many people can actually, just by themselves, uh, learn how to th put as much green on here as possible and as much white on here as possible. But I'm actually going to skip that step and show you this algorithm a bit better to see how well it can move pieces around and actually save you time if you just keep on doing this algorithm instead. When you're moving pieces, just make sure that they're in the same position relative to each other and then you can swap them. So we have a lot of white on this side, but we want green. And we have a lot of green on here, but we want white. You could, once you get better at it, you can do two strips over, two strips back over. But for now, we're just going to do one strip at a time. Okay, so let's see. We're going to start with, I have uh, a white here that doesn't belong there, and I have a green here that doesn't belong there. But I actually want to use this one, this green. So I'm going to move this green, and I'm going to move any of these. How about this white? Okay, so this white's going to swap with this green. So first we're going to bring this strip down, and then we're going to follow this piece and see where it goes. Okay, so down, and then this piece is here, over. So now the piece is in this strip, so we're going to bring this one down, and then everything goes back over. And if you have lost track of everything, you don't know what, what's what anymore, look here. This should be green and white. This should be green and white. This is not green and white. So we moved these two strips. So we're going to move them back. So this one's going to go back up. And then over. And then back up. And then over. So we have yellow here. Green should be here. White should be here. Let's keep going with this algorithm. So we have a white here. That's good. Uh, let's get a green from here. How about the top corner? Okay. And then a white from the top corner. How about that? Okay. So we're going to move these two. So down, over, down, back over. And then blue, blue. So we're moving these strips up, over, up, back over. So now we have some more green over here and some more white over here. So we can keep on going with this process. So let's try a more complicated one. We have two green pieces here that belong over here and two white pieces that can go over there. So we're going to move this one down and then over. So this strip goes down. Okay. And now follow these two pieces. 
over. So now they're here. Now we're going to go both of these down. Okay. And then back over. All right. And see, we moved these three so we know which ones to move. So we bring one strip back up and then over and then two strips up and then back over. And now you have two green pieces and over here you have two white pieces where green once was. So one more time, we have two green, two white, down, over, down, back over, and then up, over, and then up, back over. Okay, and now we have very few pieces remaining. How about these two greens and uh, well I guess we can only do this one so one and one actually I wonder I've never tried this before but I could try this I'm gonna move these two pieces at the same time so down over and then one strip Two strip down, back over, and then up, over, and then up. Up, back over. And it worked! So <laughs> that's great news. And we only have two more pieces to go because they're not in the same position. We have to do one by one. So a little bit of a refresher for you. One piece here, one piece here. Okay, so down, over, pieces here. So down, back over, and then up, over, up back over and just one more piece and this is the classic down over down back over so I moved one and two and then up over and then up and you're good okay oh well, back over and there you go all of your center pieces are solved in the correct position. So you have blue here, yellow here, green here, orange here, red here, and white there. Now that you've made your way through the center pieces, and that took a bit longer than uh, the other cubes, I'm pretty sure, uh, we're gonna have to move to the edges. Now, if you thought these took a while, these are gonna take even longer because you have to solve a four by four and then a five by five inside of this cube. So with these edges, it's going to take you some time. First, you're going to have to solve the center. Okay, so one and two outwards. So start here. Ignore these two. Start here. Then go for these ones. Then go for those ones. So just like before, uh, for example, if we're looking for a white and orange piece, we want a white and orange piece here. So let's look for the other middle white and orange piece and that's right there so I want it right here okay so that's the perfect positioning this color should be on this side this color should be on this side and same over here so that when you twist it they match okay so let's try to twist this one halfway go this way then you want to throw it back here then you want to throw it to the very back. So let's get it up there. Up once, then send to the back. So now they're over here. And then reverse the process. And you have this fine, haven't messed it up, and your white and oranges are together. So let's do that for another piece. Let's try yellow and red. The other yellow and red is over here. So let's bring it over to meet 
its partner. So you have red and yellow, but you have yellow and red here. This is the problem. So if you remember from the last videos, we have to make sure that they're diagonal and that the red piece is on this side. How do you do that? If you're holding your uh, cube in front of you, this is your front face, you just send one up, you rotate the front face, and then you rotate the top face. And now they're fine. Okay, so let's do the same thing we just did one more time. Halfway turn, then throw it upwards, then send it to the back, then reverse the process. And now you have yellow and red done. All right, so I think I'm just going to solve a bunch of these, and then if I run into any trouble, I will pause the video, but I'm just going to zoom right through these, okay? Here we go. Okay, so I've run into a problem. I've solved the center pieces, well, the center edges, um, almost completely, except for these two. So you can see white and green here, white and green here, green and yellow here, green and yellow here. That's a problem, just like it was a problem with the 4x4 cube. So what we need to do is we need to find a way to flip these without interfering with any of the other edge pieces. So in order to solve these two pieces, we have to do just like we did with the 4x4, and we have to make sure that this color and this color match, and this color and this color match. So normally we would have green and white here, green and white here, but now we're gonna bring it down so that it's, it's down here, and the both white pieces are facing each other. How do we do that? All we do is the same thing we do in order to get them up here, which is send it upwards, turn the face, the front face once, and then turn the top face once. And now you have what you want. White here, white here, yellow here, yellow here. And this following algorithm is only for even number cubes. You will never do this for the five by five, by the seven by seven, uh, or the three by three, of course, but you will do it for all of the even numbered cubes higher than, well, four. Okay, four and up. So here we go. Now that the pieces are lined up like this, we're going to cut the cube in half. Once, turn it like so. Okay, then we're going to turn the right face up once. Okay, then the front face is going to go backwards. Once, up, once, right goes back down, front goes back down, and then the half piece goes back where it was before. And there you go. You have fixed both pieces at the same time. Okay, so if you wanted to see that um, one more time, I guess I could do an instant replay for you. Now that the pieces are lined up like this, we're going to cut the cube in half. Once, turn it like so. Okay, then we're going to turn the right face up once. Okay, then the front face is going to go backwards once, up once, right goes back down, front goes back down, and then the half piece goes back where it was before. And there you go. You have fixed both pieces at the same time. And now that you watched it a second time, uh, congratulations. I hope you learned how to solve these two pieces. This is something that you will only do for even numbered cubes like the 4x4 and the 6x6. Never for the 5x5 or the 7x7. Now that you've solved the two center pieces of the edges, now we can go outwards to the edges of the edges. And we're going to do um, similar processes or processes to what we do with the 5x5. 
So pretend now that instead of ignore this bottom layer and pretend like you're only dealing with one, two, and three. Okay, so now we have a five by five, similar to a five by five, where you have one, two, three. Well, we're doing the same thing with this one, one, two, three. And then what makes this so long is that we have to flip it over and do the missing one. So one, two, three are solved, and then another one, two, three. So you see, we have two five by fives to solve within this six by six. Okay, so let's get started on that. What we're going to do is we're going to find example blue and orange. We're going to find a blue and orange edge edge piece. So let's look for that. Here's a blue and orange. So we're going to, where is it? We're going to bring them over here. Pretend like this layer does not even exist. So we're focusing on these one, two and one. So everything is where it belongs and we're going to twist it send it back, send it back, and then reverse. Okay, so instead of twisting up here, you're only twisting the top part. Okay, so now we have blue and orange done, and we're going to keep on going. We have green and orange already done, that's really great news for us, but let's do blue and red now. Blue and red, blue and red is here, so we have one blue and red here, but when you bring it down, it's down here. Now, if you want, you could flip this around and do it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it a bit simpler, and we're just going to send this piece up here. And let's try that. Rotate it up, rotate the front face, rotate the top face, and now we have one, two, and we have three. So it doesn't quite work, you see. So I'll have to try it one more time. Send it up once, send it around, and send it back. Uh-oh, looks like we can't really do it unless we want to do the algorithm reversed. And we could if we wanted to, but instead of making that complicated, we'll just leave that alone and look for another blue and red piece. So the other blue and red piece is actually over... Maybe I don't have one. Blue and red. Where's blue and red? Ah, here it is. Okay, so the other blue and red piece, we're going to use this one, and it fits. So here's the blue and red that didn't work, okay? And here's the blue and red that does work. So one here, one here. So let's try it. One, cut it halfway up here, send it back, send it back, and then reverse. Okay, and now we have another piece done. So I'm going to rush through a few more of these, and then when I hit a roadblock, I will pause the video and come back and slow it down. Okay, just to let you know, if you run into an issue where you have many of these already solved in the top layer, okay, many of them are, this one is not, but um, if you were to move this one around, like so, and bring it up, and bring this one down, you'd be fine. Okay, because this one is a mess. But if you brought this one down, for example, you would cut it. And you don't want to do that. So just keep in mind that as long as you have one, two, three colors here, one, two, three, same color, one bad color, you're going to cut it up here. So you want one, two, three colors good down here, and one messed up color bad up here. <laughs> Okay, just want to show you one more thing. So let's say you have green and red here, green and red here, and you want to bring it over. So let's bring that over. And then when you bring it up, everything here is already fixed. So if I bring this one down, I'm going to cut it. I don't want to cut it. If I bring this one down, I'm going to cut it. If I bring this one down, I'm going to cut it, and so forth. So that's a problem. I can't do that. So I got to make sure that I have um, garbage at the top one, garbage at the top one. So, for example, this one does not have garbage up here. So I need to make sure this is over here. How can I do that? If I have a piece in the back, I can just bring it down, then bring it back up on the left side, and then rotate it back, and then bring this one back as well. Now you have garbage on this side, and it'll be okay to move. So let's try it again. 
One, two, three, not this one, this one. And then I'm going to bring this one down and problem solved. So as you can see, I have one, two, three solved for the entirety of the edge pieces. And if you notice, you should never run into any real problems where you need to fix like, um, you know, two pieces are here, one piece is here, and you can't flip them. There's always an opportunity in this part of the cube. We will have some problems when we have the last edge and we have to solve the last edge. So for example, let's just do one edge. We have uh, green and orange already done. So let's find green and orange and finish the green and orange section. So green and orange is here. So now we're going to pretend this is one big piece and we have a four by four. So this green and orange is going to go over here. One, send it up. I can't bring this one down because it's going to cut this piece. So I'm going to bring this one. Okay. And good. Okay. So now we have one complete row done. Um, let's try blue and yellow one more time. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow is here. Okay. So same process. We want to make sure we have something that we can cut up here. So this piece would work. So we're going to keep this piece in the back, make sure it's safe, and we'll try this one again. So go over here, send it back, rotate, rotate, this one will work, bring it down, and reverse. Okay, so now we have another piece done. Let's keep going and solve some more of these. Okay, so if you were lucky, you have everything solved without any issue. So this is a very possible possibility with the six by six cube. You can have all of your edges solved without any problems like me. So everything here is done with no issue, but this is rare. Well, what if, for example, you've solved all of these edges, but you come across the very common problem that we have sometimes and you have one, two, three, yellow and orange and you have yellow and orange here but you have blue and yellow here and blue and yellow here so you're kind of stuck you've seen this on the five by five pretty often and you see it here as well this is also an issue so when you have an odd number here okay and and they're not even with this one you have this problem where you can't do the cutting in half because we already did that so we have to do something else if you see this and you have this problem, you're going to have parity. You're going to have edge parity, okay? So just keep that in mind, and we're going to solve this in the same way we solved the five by five situation. So just like the five by five cube, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that um, these three pieces line up with this piece over here. So the easiest way to do this is actually turn the cube around. So you have one piece down here, and you have three pieces up here. That's your first step. Then what you want to make sure is this one is the same as one, two, and three. So we need to bring these ones down here. How do we do that? Well, you know, up one, rotate the face and rotate the top. And now you have these pieces are the same and flipped around, these pieces are the same. Okay, so we are going to solve this by sending these edges this way and messing up one, two, three, and then we're going to mess up one of these edges. Okay. So just like you've done before, cut here, send to the back, send further back, and then reverse the process. So now you have this one over here. You have this one over here, and you have this messed up one up here. Okay, so you have one messed up, two messed up, three messed up. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we want this one to go with these guys. We want this one to go with these three. And we want these three to go with this one. So just pay very close attention now. Um, blue and yellow, 
matches with this. Blue and orange matches on the other side. Messed up colors match up far away. Okay, so now that you know that, we've been using our left hand mostly to do these algorithms. We are actually going to use our right hand a little bit more this time. And our first step is holding it like so, twist it once clockwise. So now we're holding it so that this piece is matching with the bottom pieces. And here's our move. We're going to bring this piece downwards. Then we're going to bring this piece up or sideways. Okay. Then we bring this face down one. And then we reverse everything. So take this, bring it back, and then take this piece and bring it back up. And now we have, just like we had with the 5x5, five five, all of your edges are now solved except for 1 and 2. Okay, So if this were a 5x5 five five cube, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, your even number layers are the messed up layers, just like in the 4x4, four four, just like in the 5x5. Five five. Okay, And this is edge parity. You'll be encountering this with this cube. Um, and it's going to be solved just like the 4x4 four four cube. So our next step is to figure out this parity problem. And this parity problem is just like in all of the other cubes. When you have edge parity, you have the same situation. All you have are two strips that need to be flipped. Their colors are good, but they're not in the right position. So to do this, we're going to follow the same T principle. Okay, We're going to move this down, make a T, move this down, make a T, and we're going to solve this no problem, especially if you've seen all the other videos when we've done this in the past. So it's the same principle. You want to move every time you move this one, you're going to move this one two times. And every time you move this one, you're going to move this one two times. Okay, so first we're going to do one, then two, then three, then four, five, then six, then seven. So every time we do one of those, we're going to move these two or these two. So here we go. One, downwards and then two this way, then one downwards, and then two this way. Then this one goes back up. So up one, and then two this way. Then this one goes down one, two. So one time, two time, and then this top one will go around once, and then twice. Okay, now this is going to go back up one. One, and then we're going to twist this again. One, two, then we're going to bring this one back down once. And then twist this one again. One, two. Okay, so that's the difficult section of the parity problem. And if you can see, one, two, three are good, but this is not true here. One, two, three are good. And here, one, two, three are good. And here, one, two, three are good. So the problem lies in this layer, except for this one. There's a problem here. So let's just line up all of the problems. So now everything's lined up, okay? And all it takes is for you to put this red back to where red is. That takes two turns. One turn, two turns. And that's it. You've solved your parity problem. And that is how easy edge parity is. After all of that hard work, you have finally solved your center pieces and your edge pieces. So that means you have turned this six by six cube this gigantic thing into a one, two, three, 
by 3 by 3 cubed, which means we can solve it just like a 3 by 3 by 3 cubed. So let's do that. We started with orange. Let's keep going with orange. One piece goes down once, and then twice, and then the top goes around two times. Then this piece goes back up one time, and then this top goes around twice, and then this piece comes down one more time, and then one, two for the top piece. Now, instead of just one strip being a problem, we have two strips being a problem. But we've seen this before. So let's just rotate everything so that they're lined up. All the mess is now on this side. And we're going to just take these two strips and come down once, and then twice, and then we're almost solved. See? Everything's solved except for one quick rotation. Okay, so edge parity solved just like all of the other edge parities. So if you remember from the 4x4 four four cube, corner parity is actually pretty easy to solve. It's just that it has more steps in that it sends you back a few steps in solving the cube. So what we have to do is first flip these with the algorithm, then using older algorithms from the 3x3, three three, repeat some of the cube solving. What do I mean? Let's start. So we have one messed up corner here, always. It could be this one and this one, or this one and this one, as long as there's one messed up corner right here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Just like before, we're treating these two as one piece, and these two as another piece. So we have one, two, three, four layers. Okay, so we're only dealing with the T-shape, one, two, this way, one, this way, one, two, this way, one, this way. But it's going to be a bit different because it'll go one layer and then whole half of the cube. Okay, so here we go. Let's try it out. We're going to go down two times. One, two, okay. Then the top is going to go around two times as well. One, two. Second step. Downwards again two times. One, two. And then the top, but not just the top, 
the entire top half of the cube is going to go around one, two times. Then we're going to do this again. Two times down. One, two, and then two times around. One, two. Okay. What you're left with is this strip is good, this strip is good, but these two are now flipped. In order to solve this, you just keep go back to the three by three steps, and we just have to do the algorithms for that one. Okay, and then that will turn this one into blue good here. Uh, actually, green and white, good. Okay, and then one more time. Okay, and now everything should be lined up, just like a 3x3 three three cube. And now we have to make sure everything is where it belongs. Nothing is. So let's do again 3x3 three three algorithm. Everything lined up, not yet. Anything good? This one's good. Everything lined up yet? Not quite. Let's do one more time. And check it out. Lined up, lined up, lined up lined up. So everything is nice and lined up. Now we just have to solve the corners. Our final step. Just like a 3x3 three three cube. stretch. Here we go. Last piece. Will it work? Will we solve a six by six? Maybe I don't know what I'm saying. Uh oh, 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 what's this? There we go. Solved. Six by six, all done. And if you followed these steps, you should also be done too. So congratulations. I hope that was pretty easy for you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and check out my older videos and look out for my newer videos. I'm going to be doing 7, 8, and if permitting, 9, 10, 11, and 13. So I'm looking forward to those. Uh, stick with us. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.